addiction started when I was 17. I had tried heroin for the first time. For me, uh, there was a lot of rock bottoms and each bottom kind of just had another trap door. I went to jail and I actually went to jail on, I was on methadone. So when I went there, I was in horrible withdrawal. The withdrawals, because getting off of it cold turkey is, it's horrible. Um, I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. I went to Bay State Franklin because um, I was living in Greenfield and I was introduced to Linda Jablonski who was just phenomenal. She's, she just really made me feel so much better about everything. Uh, being There's a huge stigma around being on a maintenance medication and I had a million questions. I met Sandy when she was just very early in her pregnancy um, because she was she had screened positive in the office for having substance exposure and she was referred to me. So I met with her very early on and introduced the Empower program to her. And then I got to meet with her several other times during her pregnancy. I helped arrange a recovery coach for her. And when she came into the hospital and had her baby, I was able to support her during that time too. She invited me to come and, um, in on a, an appointment that she had went with the Department of Children and Families and, and since then have actually been able to stay in touch with her. You don't have to die an addict, you can, you can get help and if you had known me seven years ago you'd be like this girl is going to amount to nothing, she's, she's going to die in a ditch somewhere and If seven years ago someone would have told me you're gonna be a mom and you're gonna have a car and you're gonna you're gonna be a doula and help people, I'd be like, yeah, right. I couldn't even take care of myself, never mind another little human being. So there's it doesn't even matter how old you are, like I no one's a lost cause. I feel that anyone and everyone who wants help, they can get help.